How is it going, everybody? This is RBP covering another coaching firing in the NFL. Mike Shanahan has been fired by the Washington Redskins, and I think everybody saw this one coming. This was reported last night. I was going to make a video on it then, but I was doing all my playoff videos, and I wanted to wait till it was official, and it's official now. About an hour and a half ago, it was made official, so here I am making a video about it. Uh, I think everybody saw this coming, definitely. 3-13 uh, and 13 this season. After an eight-game losing streak, yeah, they made the playoffs last year by the skin of their teeth, but uh, he's just not had necessarily the best couple of years in Washington. I think his combined record, they said, was 24 and 40 under Mike Shanahan, and that's not going to get it done. And that's been the worst record of any NFC East team in his tenure. So they've, I guess, since he's been there, he's been they've been pretty much the bottom dweller of the NFC East. So. They're gonna have to find some a guy that's gonna replace them, and they gotta have to find somebody that's that's gonna fit what RG3 does as an uh, as the face of the offense and the face of the franchise, really. And that could be tough. And I honestly could not think of anybody off the top of my head that would that would be able to do that and be able to fit their their scheme around RG3. Because I mean, we saw what they did last year; they fitted around him. Him, the combination of him and Alfred Morris pretty much brought them and led them to a 10 and 6 season in the playoff berth. They lost to Seattle. We don't all know what happened there. RD3 was hurt. And I still don't think RD3 was fully healthy at any point this season, but that's for another video. But I agree. I agree with the firing. It, the, just the one thing that's kind of that's kind of iffy about this is the fact that Mike Shanahan's scheme directly fit RD3 and what he does in his skill set. And that's the sole reason they, I believe, they drafted RG3 when they did was because they knew he was a perfect fit for their system. And that first year, they proved to be just that. And just this year, they took a downfall. But you can't really keep a coach after he's been almost, he's almost doubled his win total. His losses have doubled his win total since his tenure. And he went 3-13 and with an eight-game losing streak. So that's, that's a good reason to be firing. But I honestly have no clue. You know, it would be a cool hire for the Redskins. Art Bryles from Baylor, how how crazy would that be? But that's just that's just uh, stuff off the top of my head. That's probably never gonna happen. Not even be a possibility. But I was just throwing that out there. But anyways, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment in the comment section below with what you think about this hiring. If you're a Redskins fan, who do you want as head coach, and who do you think you're gonna get as head coach? And if you're just uh, average fan out there, not a fan of the Redskins, let me know who you think they end up with. Um, be sure to big hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more coverage on the NFL coaching firings today. So that's it. Please follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash srtr. Have a great, happy holiday. As always, roll tie, go socks, and go Titans to you. Catch you guys later. Peace.